Imagine being able to write a few lines of code, create a product that people need, and start making money out of it. This might feel like fiction, but there are some people in the real world that seems to carry this ability. And I'm not one of them. Until recently. So why did I change this time? And what's the secret sauce you can also apply to your own project to make money? Let me tell you everything. But why, why would you trust me? I'm just a random guy on the internet making YouTube videos with a very thick French accent. But would a random guy do that? I guess he would. Putain, quel con. Like every good story, there is always a beginning and an I can't really tell you about the end just yet, but I can tell you about what maybe matter most to you at the minute is how did I get my product ID and how did I get my first paying customers? I spent almost half of my life making side projects. They all failed because of the same reason. I'm dumb. What? No, no, no. They all failed because I was trying to solve a problem that people didn't add. Last year, I was trying to create my own service business online. I took many courses, I spent a lot of time in this community, and I quickly noticed they were all struggling to kick off their business as well. There was a lot of tools to plug together, and not everyone was able to figure it out easily. It was simply too difficult. This is exactly when my little builder brain kicked in. I was like, what if I would bring all the cool features from each of those tools in a single solution at the fraction of the cost? Little did I know, for the first time in my life, I was building something that would make my users save time, but also money. This is really important because making save time or money is exactly the reason why your users will pay for your SaaS. You can see a good SaaS like a little time machine. I'm not really sure if this is a good comparison, but <laughs> I guess you get it. This is when things became serious. I had to find my first users online and turn this idea into a proper business. For me, it was simple. They are extremely active online and mostly on X. So I directly created a very simple brand and a basic landing page with a waiting list. The strategy was simple. While I was coding the minimum viable product, which took me around one month, I was updating my progress on X by building in public. Building in public was for me a huge winning factor. When I was growing my X account with more followers, I was actually also building trust with my users. When I was building a new feature, I was publishing it on X. People were saying that it was cool, that it was well built, and ultimately I gathered around 600 email addresses before the release. When I released it, I got a ton of user feedback. And until this day, I'm releasing frequent updates to make the product the best it can possibly be for them. For me, the big ah moment, the one thing that actually validated the idea was when I wanted to give the product for free to one of the users and he didn't want it to not pay for it. He was like, no, I'm getting so much value out of it. There is no fucking way I'm not paying for it. I then spent the next six months pushing on the idea even more. I've coded a lot, talked about it a lot, had periods of huge excitement and huge progress. I had periods of doubts, but mostly periods where I was coding even more. Look at this keyboard, jeez man. If you stay until the end of the video, first, thank you, you're, you're a real one, but I think this is because you want to know what is the secret sauce to sell your SaaS. Well, to sell your SaaS, you need the perfect balance between a product that people love and want and trust. And to build trust, ask yourself the question, why would anyone buy a product from me? And if so, who they are? That's it. That's the secret sauce. Okay. Now I have to live with his moustache. <laughs> Bye.